Hey everyone, it's Travis Michael. Working on one of these Lennox split systems today. I got a call from my customer. Uh, we were out here uh, maybe a week ago and uh, found oil all over on the side of the coil. So the age of the system, originally we were just gonna either get a new coil or get a new system. But it's a 208, 230, three phase unit, R22. So trying to find a dry, uh, dry shift 407C condenser, they're all out. Nothing's available in the three phase in the market. And then also the coil's not available. We'd have to have it made. So wanted me to come back out and see if I can get it going. So let's check it out. Here's a quick demonstration on how quickly this will pick up a leak if you have one present. See the dark colors on our areas on our coil. Goes from the top all the way down. So most likely it's got a leak up high. Take it from the top side first. So you can hear it just going right off. the bubbles coming down it looks like the very top right on that tube sheet of this coil and right where the pipe basically goes through the steel there we're gonna have to get in there pull away the fins a little bit and try to figure out if we can fix that so I pulled the fan out just because it was the easiest thing to just flop out real quick to gain access to the coil there well I'm gonna put it back in and I'm gonna take this entire cover off that's the only way we're gonna be able to access it to repair it See the bubbles. I'm not seeing anything on this side. You can see them here. So I'm gonna have to pull back some of these fins and see if uh, we can get in there and repair that. So using my bulldog pin snip, the metal's a little thick, so regular pin snip might not work that well for you, but I snipped out the metal around the pipe and yeah, doing a couple pieces you can see it there just to give me full exposure of the pipe all the way around so I can make sure that I get some enough raise on there to fix where, wherever the leak is it does look like the leak is just up top here you just, now that I got that flowing right up I'll have to get the uh, my reclaim rig set up, take out whatever gas is left in it. I'll, I can valve off the condenser so I don't have to reclaim the entire line set. But I'll just recover what's in the condenser and uh, then I'll be able to pull vacuum and turn the refrigerant back in there. So I sprayed up all these other points in this area and the only thing I see leaking is this top one. So. You know, once we get this fixed, I'll do a good pressure test on it and make sure that that is the only issue, but we'll have to start with one thing first. I tried going over the entire fitting there. As I was eating this, this side was turned to liquid, so I just wanted to make sure I got a good cover, a good coverage across the entire fitting around the bottom, around all the sides, even though the top was really the only spot was leaking. Just trying to grab whatever shade I can out here. About 91 degrees, a real field temperature of 100, about 55% humidity. And I don't know what it is today, it's been brutal. I had off last week and it was a lot cooler. It was like in the 70s and at night it was like, you know, almost in the 50s, low 60s. So. This week with the heat cranking up, man, it's woo, it's tough. But charging up my system now. I put the cover with the condenser fan all back on, wired everything back up, uh, put all the screws back in. And I think this system's got a pretty long line set. It's a split, it's a two-story building, and we're down in the basement. So it's probably gonna hold about 30 pounds. I don't know what was in there. Like I said, I valved off the system, and I was able to hook onto a port where 
or a pressure switch was, there's a swivel tee on it, so I popped the swivel tee off. I connected my hose there to do all my uh, my uh, evacuation and my nitrogen testing. Um, but I'll just show you what we're working with up here. Almost looks like a graveyard back here. A bunch of old machines and a couple like that, new one back there. But this, uh, they got that privacy shade all the way around. It's only about maybe five feet high, so I got a little little shade back over there. Clouds are rolling in, so it feels a little bit better now. Still got bubbles in my sight glass and uh, suction pressure still low, so probably got a ways to go. So I'm just about finished up with the charging. I got a few adjustments to make before I finalize it, but suction lines come back cold and sweating, so the pressure's starting to look pretty good. So like I said, just a little bit more and I'll be finished. I'll be packing up on this roof, man. It's Like I said, it was hot today and it's the end of the day. I'm, I'm ready to go to hell home. If you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I got a lot of new content coming. If you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And you can follow me on Twitter at underscore Travis Michael. I'll see you on the next one.